You are welcome to Nationwide Media. In this video, L will discuss major warning signals when a dog is about to attack or bite. Statistics show that nearly 4.5 million people are bitten by dogs every year, and only one-fifth of them require emergency medical assistance. However, it is important to analyze the reasons behind the bite. Generally, when a dog's fur becomes thick or begins to growl, grit, or move back, you can usually tell if they are going to bite. This means they feel threatened in some way and you have been warned. But some dogs either do not issue this warning signal or choose not to issue this warning signal. This is when the problem of repeated bites arises. Most of the time, dogs bite people to protect themselves, their things, or their people. If the dog feels pain and is touched too roughly, it may also bite. If you encounter a strange dog, an injured dog, or even your dog, some signs to be aware of are as follows. 1. Direct eye contact. This is the dog's way of challenging you, they are in charge and they are in control. Their tails will be up and they will be sniffing. They will bare their teeth, growl, or even bark. Their legs will be apart and they will push their chest out to make themselves appear more threatening or bigger. Their ears will be up and alert. This is a serious sign of aggression. 2. The dog looks tense and stiff, with ears back, lips tightly together and tail tucked. This dog is afraid and if pushed, could bite. 3. The dog looks puffed up and tense with ears upright, lips tightly together, tail raised, with the tail that meets the dog's back, chest puffed out, hackles raised, and likely staring at you. This dog is trying to dominate or intimidate and is ready to fight. 4. The dog raises the corners of his mouth to show a bit of tooth or all of his teeth. Some breeds, such as the Australian Shepherd, Grin is a sign of happiness, but showing their teeth is usually a sign of aggression. However, under certain circumstances, dogs can always bite. Regardless of the reason, you want to be vigilant when you encounter or approach an injured, stray, hungry, or missing dog. Approach a dog with as calm energy as possible, because a dog is born with the ability to reflect the energy we release. If possible, sit nearby and let the dog come to you when he is curious. Try not to stand on the dog, but sit or kneel to make yourself more like a puppy. If the dog growls or bites your hand, reach out your hand and let the dog smell it, you'd better step back slowly and call for animal control. The dog may be injured, acting out of pain and fear. Under certain circumstances, dogs can always bite. If we use common sense when dealing with unfamiliar dogs, we can prevent many dog bites. We all feel guilty for seeing a dog and wanting to instinctively pick it up or touch it. You don't know how this dog will react to strangers who suddenly break into his space. Stop and think before you react. If you have young children, this is an important lesson for teaching them to deal with any animal. Share this video with friends and family. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel please kindly help me hit the subscribe button. I will greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching.